Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me today at Liz at Home, where I'm going to show you for the first time ever what I've coloured in the month before. This seems to be a new thing with many YouTubers. And although my colourings are not brilliant, I thought it would be fun to share them with you. So I'm going to put my pile of books aside and I'm going to show you bit by bit. I've been going through a bit of a loss of mojo for about a year and just recently I've got my colouring mojo back again and so I started colouring with some, well the very first thing I coloured which is really terrible, I bought one of these colour by number books and it's the first one that I have and it's Autumn Inspiration and it's by George Tufexis and I coloured the first <laughs> image and I'm afraid it looks like my nine-year-old grandson could have done it better but I thought I would share it with you just to show you I'd done that. These are a lot, in case you haven't seen these books before, they're a lot more detailed than I thought and I also, been so long since I've actually coloured with markers I forgot to put a page down between but the numbers are tiny. I'm going to just move this up so that perhaps you can see the little areas and the numbers. I'm going to be doing another one of these possibly this month and see if I do it any better. <clears throat> so that was this. Oh, and I also wanted to say I would so appreciate any comments, even if you just say, Hi Liz, thanks for the video, or Hi Liz, you should give up colouring, your colouring's dreadful. Actually, please don't say that, it'll break my heart. But just anything, any comment, just really helps my channel and makes me feel like I'm not speaking into a black void. I really, really appreciate it. And at the end of showing you all of the things I've coloured this month, because they're not so many. I'm going to be doing a page through that was requested of this Belle Jardin book that I showed in the colouring treasure hunt that I posted fairly recently. That was the first thing. The next thing is in this Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts um, book, which I bought. This is an actual book, The Five Love Languages, and my daughter-in-law put me in touch with that because she found it a very helpful book for her parenting. So if any of you have young children, you might want to look into that. Um, how we all respond differently to different things. So I did this picture, which I quite like. Material things are no replacement for human emotional love. And I did this with Crayola pencils, just light. I. One of my friends, Janet Danes, has often said that she uses Crayola pencils when she wants to get a more pastel effect, and so I've used her inspiration for that. So that was that one. Then I have this fabulous book, Watercolour with Me in the Forest by Dana Fox, which is more about learning to use watercolours. The whole thing is printed on watercolour paper, proper watercolour paper, and they're simple things, but each thing shows you which colour you need and explains how to do things and I find it a great book for learning to do watercolour and I've done I think yeah I did these four this this may have been in May I'm not sure which I quite liked the dogwood rose Then I did mushrooms and what I've been doing with this book as well is trying to practice my sketching. So I've done it twice. Um, I didn't take out the sketching things but I tried to draw the image because they're quite simple images and then paint it first on that and then paint it here. And then this cabin which Mine didn't turn out all that brilliantly, but there we have it. Here's their example that they show you. I hope that's in screen. <clears throat> and then learning how to do wet on wet technique, which was such fun. Oh, this is my favorite thing to do. It's like magic. 
And then the little chickadee. I think he's quite cute. And I think that's it. So next in this book, which I'm definitely going to do, is feathers. And let me know if you'd like me to do this um, watercolour painting as a colour and chat in real time so that you can actually see what it looks like. I might then just sketch them out on paper myself and try that. So that's that. Then I'm trying to complete this whole book. This was a PDF book I bought. I don't think she sells it as PDF anymore, but you can buy the book on Amazon. She's got her own site called Coloring Press by Ligia Ortega. Simple kaleidoscopes. They're, they're mandalas. And I'm trying to color the whole book. So I did, I think, five of these this month. This is another one of the things that I turn to for trying to get mojo back. Did this one with Prismacolors. I did this one with gel pens and some pencils that I can't remember. No, not pencils. I did um, cheap markers and gel pens. I did this with alcohol markers and some shiny i think this was my big alcohol markers and some shiny gel pens i don't know if you can see the glitter anywhere there's not a lot of it there again this was sharpies and shiny gel pens a little bit of glitter not a lot and this one was pencils can't remember which one. No, it wasn't pencils when I look at the back. This was alcohol markers. Then this was probably Copics or Blick ones with the brush. So I'm trying to complete this book. I, I like them. They're nice and easy to do. Then in the treasure hunt that we did, one of the pictures I had to find, scavenger hunt, that's the name I'm looking for, was uh, citrus slices. And so I colored this one and I did this with, I used some jelly roll markers that leave like a plasticky thing. Oh my goodness, my brain has gone into complete reverse mode, but they're almost sort of 3D. I'll go and find the name of them and tell you. So it's jelly glaze pens that makes that sort of 3D. Sorry, that's shining because of my light. So that was those. Then you all saw, because I did it in two colour alongs from Marjorie Sarnet and Sia Slater. I'm afraid I forgot to mention Sia Slater's name and I should have mentioned that. I did this picture. And you all watched me colouring that, I think. And if you haven't, then I'll put a link to this colour along. I'll put a link to the first one. So this was done with a mix of pencils and watercolour pencils and jelly rolls and a little bit of glitter. Not sure if you can see the glitter. And then in another old book, Snow White. This is by Fabiana Atanasio. I did that one. I used a bit of metallic pens on that and more than glitter. And I did the Seven Dwarves, which I think is probably my best colouring for this month. Let me take it out a bit so that you can see it. There we are. And that's all my colouring for this month. So if that's all you wanted to watch, then that's that. So now I'm going to do a page through of Belle Jardin, Colour the Garden of Your Dreams, hand drawn by Peggy Jo Ackley. I am not sure if it's still available, actually. I'll have a look and see if I can find it and put a link to it. 
It's got a nameplate with these cute Wellington boots, which are much like the kind of ones that you can see in Rita Berman's pictures, actually, although this book came out before hers. And then these sort of decorations, which are a great place for using up your gel pens or trying out color combos. I like this particular picture because sometimes I just want to use lots and lots of color. And it's, um, you know, if you're doing a nice picture, you usually really have a palette of about four or five colors, although different shades in that. But so here you can go for all sorts of things, purples and oranges and reds and whites and yellows and greens and just have a load of fun with all your colors. One thing I also want to say is the pages are perforated. So if that's something you like to do to take your pages out to have them flat or to throw lots of water at them, then that's great. The years at the spring and days at the morn. The larks on the wing, the snails on the thorn. Mornings at seven, the hillsides dew pearled. God's in his heaven all rights with the world. Robert Browning. Quite small images. Okay, so now I'm going to page through more quickly. Although I just want to say this is actually a recipe that's rather nice for applesauce raisin bread. Yummy. And there's some poetry. I think that's kind of one of the things that appealed to me when I bought this book. I love this picture. Is the poetry because I love poetry. Another recipe for blueberry muffins. Another recipe for luscious lemon bars. Oh, now I'm hungry. Beautiful old fashioned tins. A kind of mandala picture. Farmer's Market again, small little pictures. These are so nice when one just wants to colour something and doesn't have time. Butternut squash soup. I enjoy butternut soup. de Gallo. I don't know what that is. Very, very nice paper. That was the cacti or cactuses. Succulents. I'm not a huge fan of succulents. I know they're very popular with people. Now the recipe for watermelon and feta salad. Oh, that doesn't appeal to me. That's pretty. Welcome to the garden. Carrot raisin salad, that's nice. Mushroom frittata. I feel incredibly hungry. Pots out of vegetables. That's very cute. Oh, and nice aprons. That's also a nice picture to colour. Asparagus. And then a bit about the artist Peggy Joe Ackley. 
also I hope you've oh look at that there's also a book for color palette um perhaps names of the things you're going to be using in your pictures if you want to keep notes so like a bit of a log book there so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching if you haven't done so already please remember to like subscribe and hit the little bell notification bye bye now